Army veteran John Field spent seven days at Ground Zero as a construction worker helping with the cleanup and recovery efforts. The non-uniform worker uh, was called in to help the uniform workers, the cops and the firefighters. We outnumbered those cops and firefighters four to one. Shortly after this photo was taken, he was injured. Um, roughly 8,000 pounds of steel crushed my left foot. And uh, I spent 11 weeks in the hospital with uh, gangrene. I wound up losing half of my left foot and having about uh, 30 surgeries on both feet. John also donated a kidney to a perfect stranger after a 9-11 first responder emailed the Feel Good Foundation for help. John started the foundation in 2005 to assist first responders who are battling 9-11 related injury. In addition to providing financial and moral support to first responders and their families, John's foundation, based out of his house, helped get the Zadroga bill passed, which offers 9-11 first responders health care for five years. When you're down and out, and I was down and out, and they were there to, you know, do the fighting for me. Ken George was a highway department worker called in to do search and rescue on 9-11. He now needs either steroids or an oxygen tank for his lungs and has post-traumatic stress disorder from the nightmare that was Ground Zero. They moved this uh, steel beam because we thought we found somebody underneath it, and this green smoke came out of the ground. And when that smoke came out of the ground, it, it, like, it took all the air away from us, you know? And I, we all fell to our knees, and uh, that's when I developed this cough. I had this 9-11 cough. Glenn Klein, a retired NYPD detective, is also sick more than a decade after 9-11. It's still happening. We have uh, over 1,000, 1,100 people that have died from exposure to the toxins. We have a list on our website with close to 500 people who have cancer right now. And I'm talking about people in their 40s and 50s and even some in their 30s and cancers that I've never heard of before. Very rare cancers. The Feel Good Foundation's park in Long Island is the only memorial in the U.S. dedicated to the first responders who have died since 9-11, etching each name in stone. 1,300 people have died, so we're up uh, a little over 100. We have another 100 to go. This is going to take about three or four years. Well, John, we want to just applaud you for all you do with the Feel Good Foundation because you do so much and you're an amazing person. So we just have a little something for you. Thank you very much. Can I open it? Yeah, open it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, you got my tear. What makes you teary-eyed about that? It just symbolizes and is a reflection of the hard work that we're doing. And um, to be noticed is more important than the money. Enjoy a moment from next week's webisode. Wow. Oh, my... Oh. <laughs>